pulling up into Tom's driveway. Hey, guys. Hello. How's it going? I see two good old boys, baseball caps, a little bit of camo. Hopefully, they'll be able to offer some information that we can follow up on. So we heard you guys got some tracks. Yeah, we got some cash to show y'all. That's huge. Oh, yeah. What is that, like a 17-incher? Look at this one. 17. That's the biggest one I've seen in the Midwest. So they lift up the towels and show all these casts. And the first thing I'm thinking is, wow, these all look kind of different, and they have different sizes. That's what you would expect if they're getting real impressions. The guys who are going to fake things are going to have a whole bunch of casts that look all exactly the same. These look like they really found them in the woods, and they cast them. You can see the foot shape in most of these, some better than others, and a few of them are just mind-blowing. This first cast I got in April of 2012. That one actually came out not far from behind my house. Yeah. It appeared like it might have slid on the side of the ridge. Considered, you know, it would have been slide in the mud. Third one, we saw something standing behind a bush. But it was so thick back here, the vegetation was we couldn't get back down there. Well, the next day, I got up, and I said, well, I'm going to take my four-wheeler and go back in there. I went back into that bush, and that's what I cast it. That's a beauty, man. Yeah. I love that one like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first thing that jumps out to me is, is the toe placement, of course. But Sasquatches have such flexibility in their feet that this configuration is fairly common in the data set of casts. I love that all five toes are visible. I mean, the last two are a little bit lost, but that pinky's not, which is really nice. And also, if you look very closely, the toes are actually impressed more deeply than the ball of the foot mm -hmm. itself. All of these things uh, are, are really nice indicators of a very likely real Sasquatch print. I can tell that Tom's been Bigfooting a long time because he casts footprints that most other Bigfooters wouldn't. And this one here is an excellent example. Most people would look at that and say, oh, there's nothing there. But he cast it. And it's a good thing he did, too, because right there on one of the toes, dramatoglyphics. Fancy word for fingerprints, basically. Primates have dramatoglyphics, and no other animal does. This thing was made by a primate. What's the most recent activity either of you are aware of in this area? Well, these are two days old. Oh, they're hiding them for oh, the last wow. minute. Wow. Still wet, kind of. <laughs> look at that. That's, That's a beautiful cast. Look at that. Nothing about it throws red flags to me that these are faked. With these prints here, we also had a bluff charge. A couple of days ago, you had a bluff charge. Yes, sir. Oh, man, <laughs> we're in the right spot. A large predator like a Bigfoot will make its presence known if people are intruding too deep in its territory. Usually, it'll do it by screaming, but sometimes if you get too close, they'll charge through the brush and trees but stop short, and that's called a bluff charge. That means we're in a pretty good area for some Bigfoot action. Can you get us into that location? Get you close into it. Nice, because that's definitely a spot we need to look around. Well, what I know is that two days ago, there were these tracks that you cast when you got a bluff charge. Perfect place for our first night investigation. You know it was a good cast because Renee didn't try to tear it apart. I mean, what was she going to say? It was a bear? No way. You saw that whole mid-tarsal break. You can see where it pushed up that classic Bigfoot print. I mean, she was excited to go out and see this spot, so that tells you how good that track was. Once you get this thing cleaned up, this might be one of the best casts out of Kentucky. Yeah. And the fact that you had action two nights ago, and you're going to take us next to there, I'm so psyched. I'm pumped for tonight. I mean, I was looking forward to Kentucky. This is better than I imagined. Thanks, Thanks guys. you guys. Thank, Thank you guys you. for coming out.